Hey, would you like to learn how to create multiple Google Sheets based on one template under five seconds? If you want to learn, make sure you watch this whole video because I'm going to show you the most easiest, the fastest way to accomplish that. So let's get right to it. Hey guys, welcome to Code with Mark, where I share helpful videos to help you become a professional web developer a lot faster. If you are interested in learning how to become a professional web developer a lot faster and learn technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, MongoDB, MySQL, and others that are going to help you create amazing, awesome web development app, do consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so we have this plain Google spreadsheet, which has only one sheet label sheet one and then we have column a which has languages we got javascript php jquery as well as j uh, node.js and also a gif for you which you can grab by going to this url which i will leave it in the description for you to grab it and when you go there it's going to give you a particularly good uh gift that's going to help you become a professional developer a lot faster so don't forget to get that all right so let's move on so what we are going to do now is let's say we have the sheet and this is our template sheet that we want to create multiple different copies of it the most uh standard way to do it is you go over here you click on duplicate and then you go over here and change the name again to say call it one two three yada 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 and then let's suppose you have 10 different sheets. That will be very time consuming, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna open up a, another sheet which has a sheet name. So we have these sheet name, which is three, but you can go down to the low uh, line where we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever it is. It's gonna, whatever the sheet name in here, that's what's gonna do. So let's say we have this name here. And then we also have this menu over here that I created and not to worry, I'm going to leave a link in the description in which you can copy the code right and from the link that I'm going to leave into your Google sheet and then we can easily have it ready for you. So let's go. So when we click on this button and then we have another menu and then this button right over here where it says clone sheet so what this is going to do is going to look at this as a template and create three different sheets based on code with mark and that is that so let's see how that works so we'll go, go over here click on click and then it's going to run 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 and before you know it and at the bottom let me just go over here and go over here and just show you uh come on so here it is so here we go so these are the sheet names code with mark so let's say hypothetically speaking you go in there you edit something you'll say you delete this out and you type blah 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 blah, blah, blah. and then if you rerun this no matter what you have on this particular sheet, which in this case is named code, it's gonna override it and create a new one based on the template. So here we go. So here it is. So there's code with mark, and that is that. And it's extremely easy to do this. So let me show you the code behind scene, how that works. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this from scratch once again. So in order for you to include this menu and then all that stuff, or I just want to give you a quick reminder that I have this special gift that's going to help you that you can get it at this URL. Don't forget to get it. And don't worry, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to make it easier. All right, now back to your video. What you need to do is click on where it says extension. Right now, they have it under the extensions. You, depending on when you are viewing it, they may change it. But nonetheless, look for or from the menu where it says apps script. And once you open that up, and I already have the code here, but I will walk you through it step by step. So I'm going to zoom it in. Uh, let's zoom this in a little more. So here we go. So the very first function, which is this one, is this, this is what happens when you click on when your Google Sheet 
Google Sheet, not the other word. <laughs> Google Sheet opens up. So the very first thing what it does is it's going to create this menu by this line of code. So this is your main menu. And then you have the drop down menu, which is Google uh, Clone Sheet and then the function that you want to run. So let me repeat that. This is the main menu. So in this case, this will be this right here, clone menu. You could name this to be whatever you want. You can call it my sheet or create new sheet or create duplication, whatever you want to call it. And then followed by this particular text, you can call it whatever you want. And this particular clone sheet is right over here. <laughs> And then what I did was I added a line separator. You don't have to put it in there, but I just like to keep it things organized, neat. So that's just my personal preference. And which just show you what it looks like is right here. This particular line right over here. So in case if you have multiple different um, menu, sub menus, you can add that line separator. And then follow by this particular function, which is part of the Google Apps script uh thing so you just in there and they're just gonna function the whole thing so the main meats and potatoes that it actually works is in this particular function which is right over here so let me zoom out just a little bit but like i said don't worry about it i will leave the code in the description which you can get it by clicking on the link so next thing what it is what the way this function works is it has a source which will be the this particular sheet right over here or workbook and then i assigned it a call the source for anything within that particular workbook which in this case is this so while i'm here i'm just going to delete this out to show you and then what i'll do is over here as well i'll just copy all of these just to show you it doesn't matter it's completely dynamic i can add 10 20 30 40 50 uh names in here it will work accordingly so let's go back over here so this is the link within the app script that it will recognize that particular line of code to say this is the workbook that i'm working with there are other instances in which you can reference to say go to the other workbook which is part of another worksheet so on and so forth but we're not going to get into that but if you are interested let me know in the comments that hey man i will learn that and i will create a video for you all right so let's move on so this sheet is wherever you are going to uh have your original data in so i just call this sheet one you can call it whatever you want so you can call this my template or whatever right so that's up to you i just call it sheet one for now for right now and then we have another one this one right here where it says sheet names these are the ones obviously has all the names for the sheets that we are going to be creating so that is that and then this particular function is going to go and then this one actually the last row is part of the google app script functions so some people call it as a gas they don't like it when people call it a gas but that's what it is it's supposed to be google action script that's what it's called but if you put the acronym together it's called gas but you get the point so i just this is just like your javascript and by the way just so side note in google app script gas you can uh create a you can use this as if you are creating your uh javascript just like that so you can include external library like uh what you call load dash moment in here as well so it's a pretty 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 versatile and you should definitely check that in check that out and if you're interested leave it a comment in the below and i will create that for you and it's this thing is so powerful you wouldn't believe it but anyway so this is the google if you are familiar with the javascript console log thing this works just like that and speaking of which if you are interested in learning more about javascript and jquery i have a course that you can take by clicking on the link from the description it will take you there 
take it. I promise you, you are going to learn so much from that one course than you would ever if by learning on your own. And if you like the way I teach, definitely go on and take that particular course. All right, so move on. So now we're just using a regular for loop, which is this particular function, which is a get the last row. So in this case, the last row would be number eight. And then it's going to loop through it eight different times. And each time it's going to go and get the particular name of that particular thing. So since this is in column A, what I did was this particular function, which is the source, which is sheet names, and then the range, and then column A, and then the ID. ID being uh, starts from, let's say, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is the ID that's going to go. It's going to go A1, A2, A3, A4, A4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and so forth. Then it's going to get the value of that and attach to this particular variable called sheet name. And then what this is going to go is going to this right here over here is going to check to see if that particular name is already created. If it is, it's going to go on and delete that particular sheet. So that way we can override it, which I showed you previously when we went through the process. And then once it deletes it, then it's going to go check to see if the first name or a name, which is a sheet name, is not equal to names because we don't want to create a this one right over here and the one that says names because that's just for our reference. But if for your project, you feel like you need to, you can definitely include that in there. So that is that. And then long as the name is not equal to this, this then this line of code is going to go and create that, all those sheets. So let's just do that right now. So we have sheet one. Let's go over here, click on create clone. And then we wait for it to run, 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 run. And as you probably see at the bottom over here, it has created all of these sheets. So let me zoom it up a little bit so it comes up here. So here it is. So we have uh, under the sheet names, we have eight of these, excluding the one on top. So we have code with Mark, JavaScript, PHP, jQuery, Node.js. So if I go over here, here it is. So here you go. You have all of these sheets in here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new sheet, the Google Sheet, and we will go through this step by step because there are some things the first time you run this, you will have to include in here. So I'll go over here, right click. This is just my Google Drive and I just click on create a blank spreadsheet. And then I'm going to say create it. Yes. And I'll call this code with mark. And I'll just leave the sheet one to be sheet one. And then I'll call this, uh, I don't know, food with mark gift get it now. I don't know. I'm just making this thing up, right? And the next thing what we need to do is create another sheet. And we'll just go over here, call it sheet names. So we'll go over here, sheet names in here, and I'll just copy just the top four, which will be code with mark as that. And then I'll just copy all of these line of codes and then I'll delete it, close this out because we no longer need it. So now, right now, we have no menu as you can see it from here. So we go to under extensions, app, scripts, and then from here, the first time you log in, you're going to create this. You are going to see something similar to this, which is their old way of doing it. So if I were you, I would just put in here, call it gas, yes, Google app script, uh, clone sheets, just like you would name your sheet here. I would highly, highly recommend you also uh, name your app scripts as well. So in here, you just copy this paste it and then you save it and that is that and then if you want to run this for example from here what you can do is you click on this one button 
and wait for it, wait for it. The first next screen that you're gonna see is the authorization part of it, which it will come soon enough. And here it is, it's asking for your permission so it can run it because your sheet and Google Apps Script, they need a permission in order to talk to one another. So first time you're gonna do this and only one time. So click on review permissions. And then it's gonna ask you for the, the email account you wanna use. So obviously the one that you have already, use that one. And then follow by, because we're doing the whole HTTPS thing sometime, even though it's in the same environment, it doesn't recognize that. So what do you wanna do is you wanna click on advanced and then click on go to the name of your Google Ads script, which was in this case, this button right here. And then you go down and then you allow it and then let hold me hold it is done and then if we go back to our sheets and then there's the menu over here create a clone sheet so now we should be ready to go and then it's going to run these things right here so here we go is so we got let me just bring it up here so we got code with mark and those are the sheets All right so if i delete this out just to show you I'm gonna delete them. I'm gonna go over here, close this out, close this out. So this is the sheet that we just created. If I open this up, and now we have this new instance of the sheet. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, hit clone sheets, and now it is not going to ask me for the permission thing like it did the first time around. And our sheets at the bottom are created. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you truly enjoyed this particular video, make sure you click that subscribe button and comment anything that you may feel like I have missed it or you would do it differently. So I'll see you on the next video.